Hello guys and welcome back to my pattern. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are having a great day so far because in today's video, we're going to be talking about the dark truth about Hytale. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming uploads. Without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Unlike Minecraft, Hytale does not take inspiration from the entire game lifespan. The game is much more focused on exploration and discovery than the typical technique of killing a tree first, traveling to the nether region, and then fighting the ender dragon. The cosmos in which Hytale finds itself is rich in culture and history, and the game is about much more than merely creating and living in it. The desire to express Hytale's differences, a greater amount of overworld content, rather than hiding almost everything in underground caves, a focus on giving the community access to powerful creation tools from the get-go, manifested in one particular idea. The first thing that would happen in Hytale, the team decided, was that a player would spawn in front of a tree. Block games being block games, they would then punch the tree, expecting it to break into craftable material. Instead, their character would say, ow, and I thought that was like the smartest thing ever. Donahue laughs. We've shown the player not to expect Minecraft, and then you try that with someone and they're like, you can't do that. And this is a microcosm of a thousand smaller things that we have to decide every time. Is this something that's part of the genre or something that's part of the game? And we realize that the unique chance we have is that we actually get to kind of decide. Hytale is the place to go if you're looking for complexity and breadth. It takes set in a procedurally created world full of crumbling structures and underground caves, all of which offer huge prizes to those who find them. There is a huge distinction in terms of gameplay. Dungeons and story elements are not merely optional extras, they are important components of the game's entire experience. The fact that Hytale is not a real survival game is due to these basic disparities. For comparison purposes, consider the game Vintage Story, which is a game that's genuinely about survival. A former Hytale developer who, based on the appearance of the game, left to work on the largely survival-oriented Vintage Story game instead, was behind the creation of the game. You'll receive a sword from Hytale before you're able to begin mining, and I'm certain about this. Even just looking at the name gives you a decent idea of what to anticipate. Also, make sure to write your thoughts on whether you would consider it a survival game in the comment section below. Minecraft Successor or the Next No Man's Sky some more info on Hytale, on the other hand, deserves to be discussed in greater depth. The fact that Minecraft does not have a lot of stuff to begin with is often overlooked, which is a shame. Despite the fact that you may do a great lot with the given tools, there isn't a great deal of in-game content. They have begun to integrate important new features since version 1.13, but they are still cautious to make a commitment. I feel it's reasonable to assume that their reputation and fame have gotten the better of them and that their updates have been questionable in nature. In the long run, farming hasn't changed much since the beginning of time, combat is typically fun and there is no incentive to travel across the world because it isn't really rewarding. It has been stated on several occasions by the Mojang development team that they will only be adding high quality features to the game rather than simply adding anything. While this is a positive development, it also means that they will have to be extremely creative if they want to keep the player population engaged. It will be an excellent addition to the gaming world if Hytale turns out to be incredibly terrific and does everything that Minecraft does, which isn't very much at all. It is possible that Minecraft may lose its player base as a result of these developments, even if it does so later rather than sooner than initially anticipated. Additionally, we at Mind Pattern would caution against overhyping the game until we've had a significant amount of opportunity to play with it. But that's all the time we have for you guys today, so thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more awesome content like this and much more. We'll see you guys next time, but until then, take care and